Swing trading is a powerful technique that you can use to buy low and sell high. Swing traders aim to profit from the upswings and downswings in the market. They try to identify the tops of a rally and to sell into them. There is no universally accepted and defined method of swing trading. Instead, it's more of a practical trading style that can be applied to markets ranging from indices, currencies and individual large cap stocks. Since swing trading works equally well in different time frames, it's just as relevant to day traders as it is to position traders. The advantage of using spread bets to swing trade is that you can place down bets as well as up bets, making it possible to exploit the troughs as well as the peaks. Markets spend a lot of time churning around, especially in the smaller time frames. These sort of choppy sideways conditions when the market is moving within established ranges are best for exploiting swings. Imagine a move that's been halted by profit taking. If you believe the larger trend is going to continue up, you'll want to buy on this dip when both the major and the mini trends are moving in the same direction. The problem with swing trading from a psychological perspective is that it can be difficult to sell into strengths and buy into weaknesses. That's why a swing trader needs a systematic plan to identify the optimum entry point and stop loss level, together with the discipline to stick to it. There are various practical ways you can identify the swing points at which to trade. Momentum indicators like the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD for short, and the Relative Strength Index, RSI for short, are good in a sideways market. It is of course always essential to use a stop loss when spread betting or embarking on any other form of margin trading. If used appropriately, stops will help ensure that potential losses are sustainable when things don't go according to plan. Equally though, it's important not to set them too tight as to prematurely close out a position.